Hey everyone, it's Sarah from AWE, and today we're taking Tacoma from single to true duel. In this video, I'll show you how to remove the factory exhaust and get the Zero FG system bolted up. Before you begin the install, make sure all pieces are accounted for. For those of you with long wheelbase trucks, we include extension pipes in every kit. And you may have noticed the bash guard. We'll show you what these are all about later on in the video. Here's what you'll need to get the job done. For this install, you'll need an impact gun or a ratchet. We use an electric ratchet, but a regular hand ratchet will work just fine. You'll also need a 14 millimeter wrench or a socket, as well as 16 and 11 millimeter sockets. You'll also need an exhaust hanger removal tool. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and impact, let's get started. Using that 14 millimeter socket, remove both bolts on each of these flanges. The next hanger is located right here, directly in front of your muffler. You may have noticed the flange hanging out in the center here. We're not gonna break this loose because we have enough room to come down and out the front. Now I know what you're thinking, Sarah, I don't have a lift. Totally fine. If you're working in your driveway, break this joint loose and you'll give yourself some more room to work with. Either way, let's move on to the hanger. Pop that out, move down the line. There's two more hangers at the back of the muffler, so we're gonna pop those out. If you haven't already, now's a great time to support that system or it's gonna support itself on your head. Go ahead and pop those out. Final one is at the back near the tip. Go ahead and pop that out. This is the last thing holding your system on. At this point, you can lift it up and out. It's not that heavy, just a little bit awkward, like someone else around here. There you have it. Now that the factory system's out of the way, phew we can get the Zero FG installed. Before we do that, you'll need four pieces of hardware, two of the factory bolts from the driver's side flange, and two of the included bolts for the passenger side. Once you have those, grab both of the front pipes, and let's get going. Before we put our front pipes up, make sure both of the factory gaskets are in place. They will be reused. We're gonna start with the driver's side. Line that up, there's only one way this can go on and thread in those factory bolts. We're gonna leave these hand tight for now. We'll tighten everything down at the end. Before we get our passenger side in place, it helps to lubricate this hanger, just so you're not fighting it the whole way. See, much better. While you slide the hanger in, line up the pipe as well. You might need to adjust the flange to line it up to the factory. And then thread your bolts in. And we're gonna leave these loose as well until the rest of the system is installed. The front pipes are on. Next up is the H-pipe. Don't forget your clamp. The orientation of the H-pipe is very important. You want the wider side facing forward and this flat pipe goes on the passenger side. Don't forget your clamps. Go ahead and get those in place. And then slide them over top of both of the front pipes and make sure it's fully seated. Then since everything is still loose, I'm just gonna pop a pole jack in there to hold it while we finish installing the rest of the system. At this point, if you have a long wheelbase truck, now's the time to install the extensions. Since they're straight pieces of tubing, I think you can handle this. Once you've done that, everyone can move on to install the mid-muffler section. So 
Start by sliding your clamps in place, either over the H-pipe section or those long wheelbase adapters. Then you can slide your mid muffler section in place. At the same time, you slide the hanger in to the rubber isolator, line up the pipes at the front. Make sure you lube that hanger up, make your life easier. Then once your pipes are fully seated, we can move on to the next section. Now it's time for the drone canceling 180 tech resonators. Grab both and let's get them in place. Grab either one of the 180 tech sections. They are not side specific, but you'll want to start on the passenger side first. Make sure that clamp's in place. Go ahead and slide it over top and make sure the drain hole is oriented directly straight down. Go ahead and grab the other section and line this one up in the same way. Next up, over axle pipes. As always, get your clamps in place and lube those hangers. Start by sliding the hanger through the rubber isolator and then line it up to the 180 tech section. And wiggle it in place until it's fully seated. Repeat that same process for the driver's side. Finally, we have our tip section. Now this is the point where you would install the bash guards. If you're looking to go off-road and you want to save your tips, you can slide the bash guard over top of the over axle pipe section for the most clearance. To install your tip section, line up the hanger first, slide it through. Then once that's in place, you can line up each pipe, take a little finagling, Make sure they're fully seated. We're going to start to tighten everything down, starting at the front, working our way back. Using a 14 millimeter wrench or socket, what we're going to do is tighten the bolts on each side of these flanges. Just make sure you do it evenly so it can compress the gasket properly. Lining up your clamps, make sure the opening of the clamp is not over one of the slots in the pipe. Make sure it's over a flat portion. Make sure this pipe is fully bottomed out and that it's overlapping about an eighth inch on the inside. And go ahead and tighten down all of your clamps and I'll meet you back at the tip. Finally, we can get the tips installed. Grab your hardware, get that installed on this side bracket. Go ahead and slide it in place for now. Same thing on the second tip. Just for ease of install, we usually like the nut facing down. Then with an 11 millimeter socket, you can tighten these down. Now these can be adjusted in and out to your preference. I'm gonna adjust them about there. And there you have it, a straightforward install and you're ready to rip. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Any questions about the install, drop them in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on what's next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.